Well, meanwhile, Israel has been warning an international aid flotilla against sailing to the Gaza Strip that's been under an Israeli siege for almost four years now. The residents of Gaza are now calling on the UN Secretary General to provide international protection and safe passage for the ships and those on board. Scores of Palestinians marched towards the United Nations office in Gaza City, demanding protection by the UN for the second Freedom Flotilla. A letter was handed by the demonstrators to the UN representative, who promised to relay it to the UN Secretary General. Organizers called on UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to provide protection for the second aid flotilla. We asked the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to provide protection for the second international aid flotilla. The UN must hold Israel accountable for its crimes against Gazans and make sure that the blockade is completely lifted. Israeli Army spokeswoman Lieutenant Colonel Avital Libavich has announced the Israeli forces will not allow the flotilla to breach what she described as lawfully enforced blockade on Gaza. Well, I'm very enthusiastic about the flotilla, like everyone else here, and also apprehensive to some extent about what the Zionists are going to do. Of course, we've been hearing all kinds of threats, and they've been trying every conceivable dirty trick to obstruct the flotilla from departing. But I'm confident that we will prevail. Activists also demanded an international condemnation of the Israeli aggression. The first aid flotilla came under Israeli commanders' attacks, which killed nine international activists and injured dozens. Um, regarding the ongoing threats, of course I think they should be condemned, but um, I mean that's what we're working towards, towards getting uh, international support for Palestine and for opening people's eyes to the propaganda that's uh, portrayed by Western media outlets and by Israeli media outlets. So we want their support, we want international support for Palestine uh, they're the ones who need it. The flotilla of at least eight ships is scheduled to set sail from a handful of Mediterranean ports, but is not expected to reach waters off Gaza until later next week. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu instructed the Israeli forces to firmly prevent the upcoming international air flotilla from reaching Gaza. International activists who took part in the protest called on the world community to help put an end to the Israeli aggression. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.